Welcome back to the Astro Park, everyone. My name is Kwesi Aqua, and tonight I'm going to be photographing a special event that's occurring on the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the largest planet in our solar system. Its mass is two and a half times all of the planets in the solar system put together. A day on Jupiter lasts 10 hours, and this rapid rotation on its axis is what causes the violent weather activities on Jupiter, which include the cloud bands across the latitudes and the famous Great Red Spot. Jupiter has 95 known moons, which include its four largest moons called the Galilean moons, named after the astronomer Galileo Galilei, who discovered them in 1610. These four moons are Io, the most geologically active moon in the solar system, with over 400 active volcanoes. Europa, a moon with a theorized liquid water ocean underneath its surface. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, about the size of the planet Mercury. And Callisto, a moon with the largest number of craters. When any of these four moons pass in between the Sun and Jupiter at the right angle, the sunlight is temporarily blocked, and that particular moon casts a shadow on Jupiter. Just like how our own moon casts a shadow on the Earth during a solar eclipse, the same event is happening with Jupiter and its Galilean moons which I refer to as a Jovian eclipse. During the eclipse, we can track the motion of the shadow as it moves across the planet. And this event is called a shadow transit. If my calculations are correct, tonight's shadow transit is going to be a rare special one. I've already seen the simulations on Stellarium. However, seeing it in real time is going to be a completely different ball game. As you can see, it's a bit on the chilly side tonight, but regardless, I'm excited and I hope you are too. So let's slew the telescope over to Jupiter, start up fire capture, and let's get this party started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment of truth. So I've completed slewing towards Jupiter. I'm inside a fire capture and I just completed doing my focus check. So let's see what we can get here. So I'm going to lower the gain a little bit, lower the exposure. And I'm not quite sure if I see it just yet. The scene conditions, unfortunately, are a bit bad tonight. I see one. <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> this can't be real. 
I wish somebody was here to pinch me because I think I, I might actually be dreaming. It's, it's right there. It's crazy. <laughs> that is absolutely remarkable. Okay, well, we have intermittent clouds here, so time is of the essence, so I have to get my ADC set up, but ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna believe this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm inside of the fire capture right now, and I've completed all of my calibrations for Jupiter. So it may not be really clear for you to see, but there's two moons here, these faint dots where my cursor is. So the one on the right is Ganymede, and the one on the left is Europa. And if you look really closely at Jupiter, you can see a black dot right here, and also a black dot near the edge of the limb. So the top dot is Europa's shadow, and the bottom dot is Ganymede's shadow. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are now witnessing a very rare double shadow transit. So you're seeing two eclipses on another planet. This is just the most, <laughs> the most incredible thing I have ever seen. And I'm just very grateful to have been able to capture this. It's just, it's really amazing. I wish I could just reach into my screen to whoever's watching this video, pull you into the Astro Park so you can watch this event with me. It's just, it's that mesmerizing. <laughs> oh, I, I, I have no words. Just, wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody <laughs> so what did you think wasn't that just amazing <laughs> just being able to witness not just one but two shadow transits on the planet jupiter it's just double shadow all the way <laughs> let's go <laughs> oh my god uh, it's just moments like these that make astrophotography such a special and humbling experience and I'm just very grateful to have been given the opportunity to share this experience with all of you. Now unfortunately as I mentioned uh, I did have some poor seeing conditions as well as some intermittent clouds tonight so unfortunately I wasn't able to do a planetary animation that I was planning I just didn't have enough data. But I did get several video files and I'll select the one that has the best scene possible and then use that to create the overall image. So once I get this video posted up on YouTube, it should be in early 2024 by then. So I want to wish all of you in advance a very happy new year. And I look forward to all of the adventures and imaging sessions that I'll be doing in the channel next year. So I hope you stick around for the ride. So just got to pack up my stuff, go home and get this image edited. And I just can't wait to see what those shadows will look like. So thank you for watching Astro Park. Please enjoy this special image of Jupiter at the end of this video. And as always, until next time, take care, and I wish you all clear skies. <laughs>